Okay, Math 10, second example um, for your, actually third example, sorry, for your trapezoids and kites. Um, for this one, there's not gonna be a lot of math um, to show. We're gonna do a lot of it in our head. Uh, so here's the given information. Angle one is 20 and angle 11 is 15 degrees. So I'm actually going to replace the one right here with 20 degrees and I'm gonna replace angle 11 with 15 degrees. So I'm just gonna write those in. Um, so what you need to uh, recognize first and foremost, or the property you should be applying first and foremost with respect to the kites is the fact that the diagonals are perpendicular. If they're perpendicular, that means angles four, five, eight, and nine. All four of these are 90 degree angles. So that's gonna help us to get every other angle measure. All right, so the other property is that this diagonal right here, the longer diagonal bisects these two angles. Not these, that does not happen. So angles one and two, 11 and 12 should be the same because the diagonal bisects them. So if angle one is 20 degrees, angle two is also 20 degrees. If 11 is 15 degrees, so is angle 12. All right, and you know every single triangle contains 180 degrees. So if this angle is 20 and this is 90, then angle six right here has to be 70 degrees, and the same is true for angle three. This has to be 70 degrees as well. So these two triangles right here are also right triangles. So if this is 90 and this is 15, then angle 10 has to be 65 degrees. Nope, sorry, 75. Sorry about that. And so does angle seven. This has to be 75 degrees. So 75 and 15, that's 90, plus another 90 is 180. All right, so all of your angles, all right, in each triangle should add up to 180 degrees. These two angles are bisected. These two angles, if you look at the properties that I gave you, are congruent. So each of those is 145 degrees. So that's how you do that problem.